A pap smear has been the gold standard for cancer screening for several decades. And the pap smear is collected at the time of a pelvic exam. Many women unfortunately confuse pap smear and pelvic exam thinking they're the same thing, and they're not. A pelvic exam is when the physician examines the external genitalia, inserts a speculum into the vagina to open it up to take a look at the cervix. The cervix is the opening of the womb. And there with a little spatula and Q-tip type device, basically the cervix is scraped and cells are collected and put in either fluid or on a slide and then examined under a microscope in the lab. When we look at a pap smear, it's simply a screen for abnormal cells. If there are abnormal cells and HPV virus is present, then we need to go beyond a screen and we need to do a more diagnostic test such as colposcopy, which is done in the office by a gynecologist looking at the cervix with a microscope to look for abnormal cells. If there is no HPV and the pap is mildly abnormal, this could be due to other types of infection, or in women over age 50, is commonly due to lack of estrogen and vaginal atrophy or thinning, making those cells look abnormal. And so many times, if there's no HPV, we'll actually give vaginal estrogen and then repeat the pap smear. Interestingly, in the future, we are going to probably move closer and closer to just doing DNA HPV test because it's such a marker for cervical cancer, the persistence of that infection. And a pap smear is not a diagnostic test, it's simply a screen. And if there's something wrong with the screening test, be it positive HPV and or abnormal pap smear, we usually need to go on for further evaluation.